In the first video I showed you how to find the list of theme words and theme phrases and we ended up with 35 theme words and 27 theme phrases. If you missed that video you can uh, watch it and others at webcontentstudio.com and look under the tutorials tab and you'll see it there. In this video I want to show you how I'm going to take my home page for my website and rewrite it. At the moment it's got a word count of 246 and if I do a theme report you can see that there are a number of words that haven't been included, a number of phrases that aren't included and theme score and quality theme score we're going to try and improve on that. The strategy that I use for this type of work is to go over to article directories and look at articles that are in the same niche and come up with some ideas and so that's how I'm going to show you. And we can do it all within this software. We go over to the researcher and I'm going to go over and have a look at eZine articles. And when we get to eZine articles I'm going to scroll down and search for irritable bowel syndrome. Now here we've got the results. There are 3,618 on irritable bowel syndrome, so there's plenty of scope here, plenty of research for me to base my uh, my work on. Now, if we go over to the article itself, we can see we've got an introduction here, um, characteristics, and then a little bit about high fiber and diet and and so on. So, th those are the sections we really want to expand on. And you can see here, there's one here called diet for irritable bowel. And we'll have a quick look, see if it's any good. And if it is, we'll grab it for research purposes. Let's have a look. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the scratch pad, click on the grabber, and you'll see now that that grabbing button is, is now flashing. Go back to the web browser, and now anything I copy to the clipboard will get copied to my scratch pad. So let's just copy that and then I can show you right now over on my scratch pad now there's that article. You can have the word wrap if you want to. So let's go back and we'll have a look at the next article. Here's another one on diet. Let's have a look at this one. And we'll grab this one as well. And we'll go down and have a look at the next one. Okay, now this looks like an interesting article, How to Cope with Irritable Bowel Syndrome this Christmas. What I want to do is I want to just make it stand, or give it its own little section in this. So I'm just going to put in something to remind me here. And then move the cursor inside there go back to the browser and we'll capture this article as well. And then if we go back to the scratch pad you can see that there's the Christmas article inside that section so I, I can easily find that information. Let's go back to the browser and I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go and grab a little bit more information and then I'll unpause it and show you what I'm going to do with this information. Okay now I've finished doing the research and I'm just going to go back to the scratch pad and stop grabbing and then you can see here is all the research that I've collected. Now the idea here isn't to plagiarize anybody else's work, the idea here is to come up with ideas for me to use in my own article. And here I am back at the article editing page. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that scratch pad in a pop-up box and you can see then that we have all of my research. Now you'll notice there are line breaks in there where we don't really want them that's because we had the word wrap turned on over here, which we, if we turn it off, we come back, you can see then that we've now not got that word wrap. And so I can have my notes open and keep them to one side as I'm writing my updates for my article. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this bit by bit and any information that is important or I think is good to add to my own article, I'm going to put it into my own words and add it to the article. A note here about keywords. Now you'll see I've got theme phrases and theme words there. 
I'm not going to take any notice of those while I'm doing the rewrite. I'll only look at those once I finish the article and once I get over that sort of 500 magic figure. I'll show you the very first bit that I'm intending on doing. Um, this Christmas, Irritable Bowel at Christmas article. The idea of it is, is at Christmas we eat lots of stuff that we shouldn't perhaps or we overindulge and that can cause us um, problems with our bowels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new section to my home page and put a title for it, a little subtitle. And then I'm going to make that a header. Let me just check. That one is an H3, so let's make this an H3 as well. And as I go through the article on Christmas, I notice the first bit is all about symptoms of irritable bowel. And what I'm doing is I'm just adding, here I've got my symptoms up here, I'm just adding a little bit more information where necessary. And so I'm just really padding out my article as I go along and I can delete information from the scratch pad as I go. Okay, I've finished going through the article with the notes. I didn't use all the notes, but I did use quite a bit of information from various articles that I took from Easy and Articles. The article now has gone up to 1,078 words, and this took about half an hour to do it. So the next step now, I've saved it. The next step is just to do a theme report and have a look and see which words and phrases are still missing. If we go down to here, you see theme score 90%. Um, percentage of theme words used. I've now used 74% of the theme words. Remember when I was rewriting the article I wasn't looking at the theme words, I was just writing the content. But the next step really is to go back and to have a look and see where I can fit in some of the words that are missing. So if I open up the missing file keyword helper, and I can close this now, I've now got a list of words and phrases to try and insert into my content. So for example if we just take the first word here I'm going to select to delete on double click and if I double click the word information it's now copied to the clipboard so what I can do is I can now while there is a lot of control V paste on IBS its causes are not are largely not understood so there's one word now which I've actually got into the content okay now I've actually finished doing all the theme words I haven't put any theme phrases in yet we'll have a look at those in a moment but let's just go back to my theme report and we can see here now that all of the theme words are in there and we've actually got 100% theme scores I could leave it at that but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go now through the theme phrases and just see if I can fit some of those in. I'm not bothered about putting all of them in but I'll have a look and see if I can fit some of them in anyway. Okay I've finished putting the theme phrases in. I haven't put them all in but I'm quite happy with the article now. You can see there's still these theme phrases that I haven't put in but the article is quite long. It's over 1100 words. We've used all of the theme words and we've got good scores here so I am now happy with that. The last stage for me here is just to check the spelling and I'm going to just go through the article looking for little squiggly lines that tell me there's a spelling mistake. There's one there, BMC, but that's not a mistake, so we can ignore that. Okay, here's a spelling mistake. Let's fix that. And that, sucralose, splendor, those aren't spelling mistakes. Chamomile. Alleviate. All right. There we are, so that is my finished home page at 1,121 words. The final thing to do now is to paste this into my WordPress site. So I'm going to export the article to the clipboard and export the What You See Is What You Get editor. Go over to my website and on the Visual tab just select everything, delete it and paste in my new article. I'll click on update and with that saved I can now go to the website there you go, a much more comprehensive home page